Today we're going to talk about how to test estrogen levels. The tricky part about testing estrogen levels is that it matters where you are in your menstrual cycle. Remember, estrogen is constantly changing throughout the month, higher in the follicular phase, the week after your period, and peaking again a week before your period. Here are three ways to test your estrogen levels. Number one, saliva testing. Estrogen can be measured in your saliva. If you're a reproductive age woman, saliva samples need to be collected every single day, starting from the first day of your period through to the first day of your next period. Your estrogen levels change day to day and even month to month according to the foods you eat, the women you hang out with because you tend to cycle together, and the stress you're under. Saliva testing is a very accurate way to test estrogen levels, but not very convenient. Number two, urine testing. Estrogen can also be measured in your urine. Actually, the metabolic waste of estrogen is what we measure. You have to collect the urine for 24 hours to be accurate, and it matters where you are in your menstrual cycle again. Estrogen metabolites can also be spot tested, meaning a single urine sample, which measures different types of estrogen in ratio to one another. The different types of estrogen are estradiol, estrone, and estriol. Estradiol is the most active, most potent form of estrogen, but it's short-lived, so your body converts it into estrone in your fat cells. But not all estrone is created equally. There's the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good 2-hydroxyl estrone is protective. The bad 16-hydroxyl estrone is inflammatory, and the ugly 4-hydroxyl estrone is carcinogenic. In my free hormone reboot training, I go over what you need to do to make healthy types of estrogen as well as balance all of your hormones. Number three, blood testing. Estrogen can be measured in your blood, including all the different types of estrogen. Blood testing is the most convenient way of measuring your estrogen, but it's a Polaroid snapshot of what's going on with your estrogen. Rather than measuring estrogen levels in patients, I measure FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. Why? Because we are not all alike. Estrogen levels range from 40 to 400, and some women naturally have higher estrogen levels than others. So what is your perfect estrogen level? Only your hypothalamus knows. It recognizes your estrogen is either too high or too low for you and tells your pituitary gland to produce FSH. FSH rises when your estrogen levels are falling, and in menopause, your FSH may be well over 30. FSH falls when your estrogen levels are high, but you cannot measure FSH at any old time during the month. It's most accurate when your FSH is measured on day three to five of your menstrual cycle, with day one being the first day of your period. If you're not having a period, then FSH can be measured any day of the month, but will have to be confirmed at least one to two more times to be accurate. Because your estrogen levels fluctuate day to day, month to month, season to season, testing estrogen levels is really inaccurate. Endocrinology is more of an art than a science, so I use my medical detective skills to thoroughly assess my patients to determine if their estrogen levels are adequate for their optimal health. I'll see you in the next video.